All right, right. so finally, we're gonna give you a tour of our camper. Come on in. This is the kitchen. We haven't quite figured out the organizational piece of it yet, because we don't live in it. So sometimes we literally just haphazardly throw things in. Up here though, this is where we keep the coffee pot, our coffee cups, stuff that their kids really don't have to reach. I keep up here. I love this sink. We have this piece that can go on and off, so we have some extra prep space. I like these little utensil containers. It says utensils. And we actually, when we're driving, this one goes up here. This one I actually put under the sink as well as this. I love this. It's just got um, like a little knife capuche in there and then a little thing for extra utensils, different cutting boards. Just everything is kind of small and in its own place, which I love. The oven, we don't really use very much, but I mean, it's a decent sized oven for a camper. The stove works great. We do a lot of cooking on the stove, especially if we're traveling and not camping. We do a lot of actual like cooking in the kitchen. We're not like out at a campfire. We just kind of live in here. It's our house, we cook in it. Um, in terms of storage in here, again, some things are kind of thrown. This is where we keep like miscellaneous stuff, some of our um, towels. Down here is the bags, the aluminum foil. All of our actual RV paperwork is all on the bottom of this. Any sort of like warranty information about anything in here, we keep in there. Um, it's nice under here, nice big spot for the garbage can. I keep some of my bigger like serving trays. Cooking on the grill, if you want a big tray, we have this under here as well as our dish rack. The freezer, big, we don't really have anything in it. It's just a short weekend trip. Nice big fridge, love this fridge. 12 volt DC fridge. Um, it took a little while to get used to it, um, to how it works in terms of its settings. You, like, you can't just crank it high and think it'll stay cranked high. Um, I don't know, Scott really does a lot of that, but it works great. Uh, we weren't super sure at the beginning, but we do really like it. Um, plenty of room for everything we need. And we get to store all of our magnets. Every time we go somewhere, I get a magnet, and then I love it because when we park this thing in the winter. I put these on the fridge in the house and then it reminds me like camping season is coming. Um, bathroom? This thing just chock full of stuff. Bug spray, these cooling towels. We use those in Disney. Hand sanitizer, random command strips. Just random stuff here in here. I mean, it's a fine sized shower. We got all our stuff in there. And we added the towel hook here. Uh, but yeah, door to the bathroom, which we love. We actually had to put these screens in. I can't show you because it's, I'd have to open the door. We got the new doors, um, cause our doors were broken. And we were like, oh, there's a window in there. That's awesome, we love that. And then we realized there were no shades on it. So <laughs> you could see right into the bathroom. So Scott got some shades and we put them on. And we actually just leave them down like all the time anyways, but that's fine. Um, yeah, there's really, medicine cabinet is pretty empty at the moment. I'm gonna peek in. Um, I do use these like just plastic containers for stuff. Um, or I have like tote bags for like my makeup or like medicines that I just, actually I just kind of carry those bags, leave them in the house and then when we leave I just boop, grab the whole bag, throw it in. Um, for our long trip I just had two of everything. And I just, we kind of doubled and then I slowly moved everything back. This is a mess in here, but I keep my cleaning stuff, I keep the extra toilet paper, I keep my hair things, and I have, I keep the towels and washcloths down at the bottom there. Um, we got to figure out something a little bit better for that. The kids' bunks, I feel like I'm zooming. These have worked great. Just these plastic totes for their clothes. Um, they're still messy Marvins. <laughs> they have not been in here at all, which is why it looks so nice, but they're nice and big. They're just, they're great. They're great. They both have a window. Uh, they both have USB ports. They both have USB ports so they can charge their stuff in there. Um, there is a outlet up here so if there's anything that they have to charge or plug in they have that this is where we keep our plates I actually moved these I had them above the sink and I wanted the kids to be able to grab their plates their bowls their cups so that's there down here is the snacks and food the liquor cabinet <laughs> kind of in this we have all of our this is nice because they're really 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 deep drawers they go the whole way so I just have this big bag that I use like if we're going to the beach I fill it up we have all of our cooking stuff. This is where we keep our toaster. I love the dinette. I wanted, like I was looking for the rounded dinette so we could all fit. And then we have this extra stool um, that we use 
and we put it there, especially if we are, if it's, if we're traveling and it's um, pulled in. I don't like all of us to sit on it. Like, I feel like it's hit or miss. Some people say, oh, of course you can sit on your slide when it's in. Some people say, oh my God, absolutely not. So usually we let the kids sit on the slide if we're driving and the slide is in and we're just stopping and then one of us sits here and the other one just stands. So I have, I, and I've Googled it, I've looked, I haven't gotten a firm answer on whether you can or cannot sit. So you can, if you know, if you work in RVs or if you know, you know, the Cherokee brand, Grey Wolf, can we sit in this thing when it's in? 2021 version of this has an island here. It does, that bumps out. But one of the things we loved about this camper is that, well, the two doors, huge. The U-shaped dinette is huge. But when this slide is in, it actually goes to like here. So we can totally, st we still have all this room. We can get to the fridge. We can get to literally everything. Um, you wanna see the snack drawer? I brought so many snacks. This is actually turned into the snack drawer. When my mom was with us, it was like her bedding drawer when we had the dinette as bedding, um, but now it's snacks. More chock full. Obviously TV, we keep all, a lot of our electronic stuff here. Um, anything that's gonna like just go with us for the day, I put up here, or Scott has his computer, and they can store it here so it's not sitting on the table or on the dinette. Games, things for the kids are all here. Our sneakers are currently outside, but when we have a lot of shoes, which we do, because we have our flip flops and our water shoes and our this and our that, um, we put our sneakers and stuff under here to keep them out of the way. So I like that. Love, love, love the fireplace. Love it. Because um, we can heat the camper with power yeah. rather than propane. And you could just put it on for ambiance, which in the fall, like fall capping, love to do that. We have our command strips here. This is the bedroom. Um, so what we did add was a guitar hanger here. Um, so we can always bring our guitar. We do not travel with it on the wall. Although we accidentally did one time and it was fine. But usually we lay it on the bed when we travel. Closets are nice sized. Uh, this is how Scott organizes him. I have not figured out a way to organize yet. We did get little puck lights. So you can kind of see in there. Because it does get kind of dark. But they're really deep. Sometimes we just throw other things back there if we don't need them. Um, and again, this is miscellaneous. This is all our walkie talkies, some of our laundry stuff. Um, there's lights above the bed, which are nice. A little end table. We've got the outlets and the USB ports on both sides of the bed, which is great. Uh, windows on both sides, which is nice. The mattress that came with this was, I don't, I, I don't even know if I'd call it a mattress. It was literally like, just laying on like a piece of wood. So we did upgrade the mattress. I can't remember where we got it from. Scott knows. Amazon. Oh, just an Amazon. It was one of those like where you undo it and it rolls out and fills up. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that's really why we love having the camper when we travel is that we have our own bed and we have our own pillows and you know, everything is ours. Our clothes, our food, our medicine, like we just have everything here. So yeah, this camper is great. We can fit everything we need. Uh, the longest trip was three and a half weeks and we were more than fine in terms of getting everything to fit. So yeah, this is definitely just our, our perfect little camper over here. All right, I'll do the outside. So the outside of our camper, it's technically, it's a 23 dBH. All right, it's a 23 dBH, but to, it's actually more like 29 and 11 inches uh, when you go from this uh, end of the spare tire all the way to the tip of the tongue. So we have storage in back. This is underneath the bunks. That's where I keep stuff like the power cable, the water hoses, the ladder, uh, the kind of stuff that we would use for the outside, the decorative stuff, or the stuff that we would use for uh, like eating that's all in the front. Fresh water, city water, power, cable, our outdoor shower over here, of course, the slide out, and our hot water heater, which is electric and propane. Dual propane tanks, power tongue, front storage right here again there is no pass-through storage on this thing and the worst part is to get to the hot water tank at the beginning and the end of the year to winterize you need to climb in all the way to the end now outdoors here we have tv hookups we have speakers we have the two doors super important to have the two doors one specifically for the bathroom it's got these stairs over here 
We have these kind of stairs over here. We have an awning, and that is our Grey Wolf 2020 23 DBH. That's why it's our perfect little camper. Now your perfect little camper might be smaller or it might be bigger depending on the size of your family, but for us, this fits us perfectly at the moment. And we're gonna knock on wood that we can keep this for another 10 years or so. All right, thanks for watching.